Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to talk about a three-step framework to learn containers and Kubernetes to master it. So if you're already working into containers and Kubernetes, then how do you become an expert both on-premise as well as on the cloud, including some of the additional things that you should be doing, things like apart from Kubernetes and containers, uh, things like Helm, Prometheus, Grafana, Istio, Argo CD and the certifications, or if you're completely new, then what all things you should be working on containers and Kubernetes. Um, also in the free class, oh, sorry, in this video, uh, in the description section, check out a free class link if um, that will help you to understand the entire thing about containers and Kubernetes. So this video is in the context of that free class where we got tons and tons of questions that I recently held and I'm going to do some more sessions. So, uh, so check out that free class inside the description section. Um, also, so have a look at this video and then you'll understand any questions, uh, then put them under the comment section in this video. So go and let's check it out this video. Uh, hey there, this is Atul from team K1 Academy. And in this video, I'm going to talk about everything that you need to know about this Kubernetes and Docker job-oriented workshop. Uh, so we'll look or tell you everything on in terms of what you can expect from a theoretical point of view, the hands-on labs, the project work, the certification exam questions, resume preparation, and the most important is job preparation and the final on-job support. So it's a comprehensive program keeping beginners in mind. And I'll explain you one by one everything that you can expect or what you do get out of this. The whole objective of this program is, or the workshop is to master Kubernetes and containers, both on-premise and as well as on cloud. It's targeted for administrators, developers, architect, or anyone who wants to build a career into containers and Kubernetes will cover and the most important part is that by end of this workshop you should be able to get a job a high paying job in containers and kubernetes or if you're already working into containers and kubernetes then take it to the next level with earning a lot more than what you're doing at least minimum 30 percent hike both for on-premise as well as the um, as well as uh, the cloud as well and we do it using a three-step framework that we have devised based on numbers of years experience implementing first for myself and then for my team to build a team to implement these containers and Kubernetes both on-premise and cloud and then later on with hundreds and hundreds, thousands of individuals like you. So this framework is built on basically the step one where you go and master containers and Kubernetes by doing an extensive uh, knowledge as well as hands-on project, which I'm going to talk about, then covering by extensive job-oriented project work, which will help you on a real-time project that you do on actual implementations. Step two, on perfecting your LinkedIn profile as well as resume. And then step three is preparing for the interviews, mock interviews, so that you get for sure job, which I'll explain you as well. Now, these exact same step have worked for me in earning uh, less than $100 a month back in 2000 when, or 2000, 2001, I started my career in IT to then earning uh, in excess of 425 pounds a day in here in UK and then 700 pounds, 900 pounds, and then eventually 1200 pounds a day um, on these using this excessive free work. These are some of the customers I've worked across the globe using these methods or methodology which I've used or explained across the globe, um, both in terms of here in UK and England for customers like WorldPay, Royal Bank of Scotland, or, uh, the, or in Europe like um, uh, international computing, or Scottish or this Toyota in Brussels and so on, and as well as in US, Middle East, Singapore, and as far as Africa, Ghana as well. Now, the, the steps or this three-step framework, which I'm going to discuss here, or which I've just mentioned, and I'm going to go and elaborate and make it, explain it in detail, has not just worked for me, but I've worked for individuals with different background all across the globe as well. So I'm sure and confident it's going to work for you as well, whatever your background is. It has worked for someone like Tolu who had no IT experience and, and end up uh, earning or getting two job offers. Or someone like Piyush who has completely passed out from college, learned these things and we hired because he was a quick learner. And then eventually he ended up working with Mercedes Bench uh, remotely back in India and then now I think is moved to US now here working remotely as well or someone like Meghna with a career gap uh, because of her son's birth 
couple of years of gap and then working there eventually back with British Telecom as a cloud DevOps containers and Kubernetes as well. Or someone like Joby who was not who is struggling after moving from US to Australia and southern part of Australia where jobs are quite a little bit tough, uh, finding and not able to clear the interviews uh, to end to end having multiple job offers and end to end interviews and eventually getting a job offer as well. Or you are someone who just want to do the project. Basically, you already have got the project or you want to implement something on containers and Kubernetes and you just need help and support on implementing those projects or it will also work if you're already working either in cloud or containers, but want to upskill on maybe a, a SRE engineer, platform engineer, or going a little bit more advanced topics on containers and Kubernetes as well. Now, it will also work for certifications, whether you're apply, up, appearing for CK, Certified Kubernetes Administrator, Developer, Security, um, Docker Certification, KCNA, which is a, a Kubernetes and containers, cloud native applications, whatever is the certification, I'm confident uh, it, it's going to work as well. And that's why I said it's not just one, two, but hundreds and hundreds of like you who has it, this whole step or framework has worked as well. So let's look at these uh, three step framework where step one is about gaining the hands on experience uh, by doing what you're going to do in actual implementation and with that also project work. Now I'm going to go on a high level first and then we'll go deeper so you understand, have a thorough understanding of what you're going to learn and understand. So this main first point is for someone who's completely new, have no idea about what we what is containers monolithic microservices. So we'll begin with the difference between monolithic versus microservices. Then also difference between like the bare metal, virtual machines, containers and Kubernetes. We'll also look at container, different container options like Docker, Rocket, CRIO, Container D, and a lot of other container options which you might come across. But primarily, you'll be working majority of the time with two containers, Docker and Container D. We're going to go in deeper into those. We'll look at Docker architecture, overview on different components that make Docker what became famous, which revolutionized containers back in 2012, 13 and still doing. We'll also look at container installation, both in Windows as well as Linux. But if you're working on Mac, we'll teach you on Mac as well, but I think primarily focused on Linux and Windows. Then Docker images, what these images mean, the storage of Docker in images, hub, etc., And then administration of Docker, where you installed, where you um, managed or create containers, manage them, start, stop, delete, and manage those containers as well. Then we're also going to look at the Docker networking, different type of networking and the storage. And the reason why we're doing is for Docker is Docker is quite still in primarily used with a lot of in a lot of companies. But if you understand Docker, you should be able to work on any container runtime, like maybe container day or other things as well. We'll also look at Docker Compose, which is a multi-container application built using Docker Compose. Then we'll look at container orchestration tools like Kubernetes. You'll also have um, the OpenShift or uh, Amazon ECS and various other things that are available in the market. So you understand what that container orchestration mean and how to implement or where are the competitors. We'll also look at Kubernetes architecture where we look at the master node and worker node. We'll also look at various Kubernetes comp objects like pod, ingress controllers, and you will see all of those. Uh, let me explain one by one, but, but in detail about Kubernetes various objects. You'll also be installing Kubernetes, both we call it as in a Kubernetes on-premise where you build the machines and on top of that we use KubeADM to install and configure three node Kubernetes cluster, one acting as a master node and multiple worker nodes. So we'll, I will also do a cube, um, um, cube spray or um, or a single no, or on a VM as well you can do, but we're actually going to do a three node Kubernetes cluster as well as Kubernetes implementation on cloud, which is on AWS, which is EKS, is AKS, which is on, uh, on Azure and Google and so on, which we'll see in a minute. We'll also look at the pod, which is a primary component or uh, like a, a runtime on which or container runtime, which Kubernetes understand on which your applications are run. So we'll also be understand difference between pod, nodes, um, the containers, and so on. We'll also look at Kubernetes network services. What is services? Basically, something that connects your application with users and load balancers, the different type of services we are going to cover as well. 
We'll also look at ingress controllers, which is a uh, layer seven uh, application level uh, configuration on ingress controllers. You'll, you'll see when, when you go and come into the program. We'll also look at storage, persistent volume and persistent volume claims. So if you're, whether you're a developer or an administrator, how do you manage those uh, persistent volume like primarily for databases and so on. We'll also look at Kubernetes security, which is a role-based access control, policies or network policies and pod to pod level security as well and we'll this is more than enough for you to clear the certification on kubernetes and so on then we are going to go we don't stop there we go a next level which is containers and kubernetes on cloud which is on aws cloud which is ecs elastic container service and eks which is elastic kubernetes service and implementation we'll also look at Kubernetes on AWS Container Registry, which is ECR, which is Elastic Container Registry. Then you're going to look at the same thing, but on Azure Cloud, where you have Azure Container Instances, which is a container implementation on Azure. We'll also look at the container or Kubernetes implementation, which is Azure Kubernetes Service, AKS. And then Azure Container Registry, which is a registry implementation or a Docker Hub or reg container registry implementation on Azure Cloud. We're going to do the similar thing for Kubernetes, Google Kubernetes Engine, both serverless. Uh, other thing which I may forgot to mention in, in on, we're also going to look the serverless version, which is a Fargate in AWS and something similar on Google Kubernetes Engine, uh, both with server and, and serverless version. We're also going to the, do the same thing on Oracle uh, Cloud, which is Oracle Kubernetes Engine. And again, we take it to the next level, which is help Grafana and Istio uh, and Argo CD, which I'm going to explain to you in a minute what these are. Prometheus, Helm, Grafana, Istio, which is a service mesh, and Argo CD as well. And once these things are done, then parallelly, we are also working on the project works with all these things that you're learning so that not only you implement these things, but also how these are implemented in a project. We help you with the resume preparation, LinkedIn profile update, and and the mock interviews that way you get a comprehensive picture now you also get a six month on job support because impo it's important that not only you learn and implement but you will need a little bit of hand handhold sorry hand holding on implementation of these things as well and so this is the one of the most important thing which is on job support which when i started or when i was implementing containers and kubernetes which i had some support uh, but I got it in a tough manner. So that's why we are doing six months on job support as well. So this is, if you have to cover everything, this is more than enough for you to understand and get a feel of that how comprehensive this program is. But I'm not going to stop here. I'm going to go deeper for someone who wants to go further deep as well. And if you want to go, uh, and if you have any questions, I'll go through this entire video. It's going to be a little bit lengthier because I wanted to go in detail, in depth about this whole program so that you can take an educative, uh, educated decision on whether this is right for you or not. But one thing I want to promise you is that the whole promise is about you making sure become great in containers and Kubernetes, become an expert, and then get a short shot the job that's a whole objective including certification as well now i'm going to give a breakdown this on a day wise but again it um, and then i'll explain you some questions as well but i'm going to keep it high level this is based on what we think that anything from a 8 to 12 weeks are more than enough for you but if you have to do it quicker there's a quicker version implementation and if you have to take it slow and you have to do it in maybe five four five months or six months you have a longer version as well for us we do learn we say you learn best what is more comfortable to you. So when we start, we begin with cloud concepts because everything that you need, you need to practice and we're going to practice on cloud, whether it's AWS or Azure. Um, these are the two major cloud we pick, but you can also do it on AWS or, or sorry, Google or Azure as well if you want. So we cover you the cloud basics and uh, create machines as well. Then we are going to understand the concepts about microservices, containers, virtual machine, the Kubernetes and the whole uh, explosion that happened so you understand the background as well and we are going to actually do install of containers which is uh, the docker in this case then we are going to look at these docker images which i mentioned so i'm not going to repeat it again because i've already mentioned so this whatever mentioned it's a day by day implementation how we're going to learn it now typically we do two days in a week to actual learning theoretical, which could be Saturdays and Sundays, or sometimes we do on weekday classes as well. So we have a combination of those classes. But then uh, two days in a week is more than enough for approximately three hours. And then 
you do and do the and the remaining time you do the hands-on lab with our support with all the step-by-step -step videos and the guides available in the portal so this is all we cover docker networking with all these extensive hands-on lab docker build compose and optimizing the containers that you see here then this is more than enough for you to uh, appear for the docker certification and i'm going to talk about docker certification and how you get hold of these uh, you'll get a sample exam questions as well so there's no guesswork you know how to prepare for these certifications then we go and look at kubernetes and kubernetes architecture and everything about cloud native applications so that with the combination of what you have uh, learned on day two and over the period of containers and then kubernetes introduction you understand and be able to clear this another certification which is kubernetes and cloud native kcna which i'll talk about in a minute now we also then begin with kubernetes architecture all the networking com con concepts and the various components which i was talking about earlier which is pods replica set deployment containers a uh, deployment controller sorry uh, the services uh, network services like a cluster ip node port load balancers etc and we'll also look at demon set controllers as well and how to actually deploy applications and work with the networking you also look at auto scaling you have horizontal pod auto scaling hpa and vertical pod auto scaling how do you implement those things and how do you restrict the resources like memory cpu and various other components with respect to on kubernetes we also look at storage as i said talking about persistent storage volume persistent volume we say pv or pvc persistent volume claim also a tainting and tolerance node affinity and node entire affinity which means to deploy a pod on a particular virtual machine or not to deploy on a specific machine we we collect all those things we also do nfs which is for storage which is shared file system implementation for kubernetes We'll, we also look at Kubernetes security, which is, as I already mentioned, but security context, cube config, network policies, and important is service accounts, which will be, and also integration with Azure Active Directory if you are implementing those things. So we go pretty advanced on those points as well. We'll also then look at the uh, more advanced policies on here, which is a config map, and a few other things that you see secrets, and more sensitive information storing those and increased controllers as well. We'll also look at high availability, disaster recovery, and the most important part, if you're working as an administrator or something working as an, on as a uh, support engineer, then how do you troubleshoot any issues that you encounter in Kubernetes and to an implementation? We also look at etcd, which is a config store. How do you do a backup and restore and high availability and all those things that as well. We also look at the deployments, cron jobs and some advanced topics which i don't know to do it right now if you're a complete beginner that could be overwhelming now you don't need to learn all of this uh, basic will be good enough for you to start getting a job but as you get into the job become and become more and more advanced things as well if you're already working into containers and kubernetes you can directly jump onto those advanced things as well we also look at uh, the Helm, Service Mesh, Istio, and a few other things which I'm going to explain you in a minute on here. We also look at Prometheus, Grafana, um, and other integration with Kubernetes, which is for observability and monitoring of these components. And then we go and more on managed Kubernetes, which is Kubernetes on AWS and Kubernetes on Azure. Now, this is a, a shorter version of that, which is of a managed Kubernetes, but then if you're extensively working in Kubernetes, we have a longer version as well. You come and ask inside the program and look for the more advanced version of containers and Kubernetes on AWS, containers and Kubernetes on Azure, where we cover in our extensive program. And all the things, everything that you mentioned on-premise, we are going to do the same things, but with cloud and how they implemented on AWS, Azure, Google, or Oracle, you'll be becoming an expert on that. So these are managed Kubernetes on AWS, managed Kubernetes on Azure, like that Google and Oracle as well, that you'll be seeing. And then uh, again, while parallelly working on certification, depending on what your objective is, your objective is to learn these things good, doing containers certifications, or maybe uh, both of them will help you. And then finally part is uh, interview preparation, mock interviews, uh, as well as the resume preparation and all those things which I'm going to explain to you in a minute. If you still are enjoying, 
keep us keep uh, watching this because I'm going to go further detail in terms of what project we cover because we don't stop here. Now this is I was talking about Helm, which is nothing but think of it as a uh, application deployment or package manager. If you are working on Windows or, or Linux, you deploy some using package manager. Similar to that, Helm we are going to cover Helm and Helm chart as well. Let me move myself here. So you learn Helm and Helm chart as well. We are also going to learn Argo CD. This is we have recently added um, on this uh, about Argo CD, which is a GitOps style CD, which is a continuous delivery tool for Kubernetes clusters. So you'll be learning Kubernetes. There'll be project work on Kubernetes uh, Argo CD. Prometheus, which is for log monitoring, uh, log an analytics, log uh, collection um, of tool, uh, and integration with uh, the Kubernetes clusters, including Grafana, which is a data visualization reporting tool as well. So we're going to do integration of Prometheus and Grafana with Kubernetes cluster so that you can have your reporting, all those things, how they work as well. You're going to learn as a project. Now, what you might be noticing, a lot of work is happening now on service to service communication. So we are going to cover Istio so that for uh, for service mesh implementation that is becoming more and more popular these days as well. So you'll learn about this. These All these topics are more advanced. Now, we are going to do all these things in a um, in a live interactive manner, but you also get with that a self-study or step-by-step -step videos and guides. So you get both live, weekly live interactive session with um, me and set of other coaches, uh, multiple coaches depending on whether it's containers, Kubernetes, Argo, DevOps tools, um, Kubernetes on AWS, as you're depending on that. And these are 60 plus extensive hands-on lab, step-by-step -step with guide video you get where you create a free trial account on AWS, Azure, Google, so you can practice on these. And we also create a, Win a Linux Ubuntu machine because that's where we're going to practice these Kubernetes cluster master node and worker node. You can also do worker node on Windows. So some labs will also have Windows as a worker node with these Kubernetes cluster. We'll also do these hands-on lab where we install Kubernetes, create images and containers. Now I'm going to, with this video on under description section, we'll be giving this entire presentation so you can run it with you and you can see uh, the whole brochure, you can get it so that you can go through in detail about these hands-on lab. I think these hands-on lab will also be available on ketonacademy.com forward slash K8S, which is a Kubernetes K8S05, where you have all the list. So Kubernetes installation, we also have then around uh, six or seven labs about networking and storage just on Docker. And we're going to do similar thing for Kubernetes as well. Then we're going to have around, uh, then once you've done the um, these networking and storage, you do Docker file through which you start and uh, you convert or create containers, basically your developers can create containers. So how do you use Docker file, create them, and then use Docker compose for a multi-container applic or um, uh, container runtime. We also, as I said earlier, Kubernetes installation and configuration. So you could create a three machines first so that you can see from scratch how a administrator build that. Now, again, if you're an administrator, you might want to skip that, which is totally fine. But depending on what your background is, you may want to do some labs or maybe other labs or all of the labs, you have access to all of them. So creating a Ubuntu three machines, we connect through networking. So you learn networking and then deploy master node and worker node and join worker node with master node as well using QADM. We'll then use deploy applications on this Kubernetes cluster using pod or like the application deployment, scale those Kubernetes clusters using horizontal pod auto scaling. As load increases, we're going to do some simulations where we, as the load increases, you will see the pods adding more and more. And as load decreases, the pod being reduced on these clusters as well. We'll also look at stateful as well as state applic stateless application deployment on these clusters as well. Then we're going to look at resource management and then storage, which is a persistent store and persistent volume, both for a, a block storage as well as on a shared file system, but this time on Kubernetes cluster. Earlier we did it on Docker containers. We look at Kubernetes, now we do hands-on lab understanding as I was talking about earlier, node affinity and entire affinity, tenting and tolerations. Uh, how do you restrict and constrain a pod to run on a specific node? We also upgrade. This is one of the certifications where a lot of guys fail on certification, 
because they struggle to upgrade or they struggle to do a backup and restore of Kubernetes cluster. So we're going to cover upgrade a Kubernetes cluster, both master node and worker node. And then we're also going to bootstrap this highly available multi-node uh, class Kubernetes cluster on AWS EC2s as well. We're also going to look at the advanced security and networking hands-on labs. And I'm not going to bore you, but if you're coming from a more from a security thing background, um, then you probably might want to do authentication and authorization configuration and integration with things like Azure Active Directory, which is now Entry-ID. Also configuring config map for configuration so that your configurations are stored outside your Kubernetes um, cluster in a config map and being referenced in your pods. How do you limit access? How do you restrict access and deploy ingress controllers and network policies as well? We're also going to look at health checks uh, and then multi-container pods, which is a little bit more advanced things like um, sidecars, shared IPC, ambassador, all these patterns, as well as scheduled job. If you're working on a batch processing or a regular task on cron jobs and jobs and for parallel jobs as well, and readiness, health, liveliness probes as well. We do laps on Helm, charts, CRDs, which is a custom resource definitions, service mess, Istio, as I said earlier as well. I don't want to bore you, but then we do Kubernetes implementation on AWS. Pretty much, I think around 13, 14 laps just for Kubernetes on AWS and to end Kubernetes on AWS with extensive hands-on lab. Similarly, Kubernetes on Azure, extensive hands-on lab on Kubernetes, everything, right from building the cluster to deploying applications to integrating network storage on, but on entirely on Azure Cloud with Azure Kubernetes, uh, Azure resources, as well as on Google Cloud as well. And same thing for Kubernetes. Now, this is how portal will look like. So you get an immediate access with all the theoretical part, as well as presentations, as well as the short video explaining all these concepts, as well as the hands-on lab. And this is on top of the weekly live interactive session where you come, learn from experts on each of these topics. So we have multiple coaches, each expert on their own domain, someone like maybe on Docker's, containers, Kubernetes, cloud, etc. And so you can perform all these things at your own pace and get support during the weekdays uh, with a support team that you'll be getting as well. So these are all inside the portal that you'll get immediate access. Now, this is just to inspire and see, I have tons and tons of uh, success stories. This is just to inspire you that guys like you are learning containers and Kubernetes. I changed my life back in 2018-19 when I started working on 1200 pounds a day when I started working on containers and Kubernetes. So this is uh, here Sarkar from India. Um, he got a job as a Kubernetes administrator lead in a reputed company by learning Kubernetes. Another one here, Vinay, I think he's from uh, UK, cracked two companies interviews um, on because of after learning this. Another one here is Anand from India. I've got a senior DevOps architect job on Kubernetes um, here. Another one here, Radha from US. I've got an excellent project to work with and successfully completed two months and going well as well. Imagine you are able to successfully implement that on a project with a, with a job you have recently got on. Another one here for Raz, Raz Lakshmi. Uh, she's based in US. In spite of having a couple of years of gap, she was able to break back into uh, the IT services or IT implementation. Another one here, Kader, who got two offer letters as well. And I'm going to continue here a few other things as well that you'll be able to do certification. Now we are already a little bit longer. And this video is if you want to maybe fast forward and go to a particular point because I'm going to cover the project work and few other things as well. So we'll also look at these certifications, which is you'll be able to do five certifications, Docker, Certified Associate, Kubernetes and Cloud Native, CK, Certified Kubernetes Administrator, Certified Kubernetes Developer, and Certified Kubernetes Security CKs. Now, the only thing is that you can do it in any order, and I would recommend you to just focus on one or two certifications rather than jumping on five. Technically, you can do all that. We have lots of students who have done all these five certifications, but um, only thing is that Kubernetes security, you there's a prerequisite that C, CK, which is administrator is a prerequisite for CKs. Otherwise, anything can be done in any order. I'm going to recommend you to do for either administrator or developer, depending on your background is, or maybe both of these if you're an architect. So if you're a developer, good for CKD 
application developer if you're an administrator go for this and if you're uh, if you are an architect maybe do both of them and once this is done then you can go for security certification as well so again um we, we inside the program we there'll be step by step instructions all those things you'll get it but so i'm going to move a little bit fast in terms of dzc you're going to get it docker is a multiple choice questions where you get a 90 minute to just answer right or wrong or multiple choice questions so it's pretty easy for you similarly kcna is a multiple choice questions which is a, a kubernetes and cloud native applications so that you should be able to clear as long as you clear with the concepts theory part as well now what makes important and again these are some of the guys who have cleared the certifications i have tons of them i've just picked one of you of here uh, guys here this is suresh of cleared kubernetes and cloud native there's another one here from india as well now what's important is ck and ckd and cks these are actual hands-on um, certifications which means uh, which means uh, the cncf which is a cloud native computing foundation organization behind these certifications you have to do the hands-on actual implement these things on show there so there you get two hours and then you get 17 or 18 questions you need to actually implement this and so you're going to get all these certifications the practice questions you can practice and i after now hundreds of guys who have gone through uh, these programs we get a lot of feedback in terms of some of the places you might trip which is focus on timing because implementation is okay but there's a limit time limit so maybe focus on upgrades and backup and restore this is where a lot of guys trip so focus on these certifications but you will get good 200 plus sample exam questions to practice for these as well again these are some of the guys who have cleared like piyush i've already mentioned to you or tushar or gagi and we have tons and tons of these here which i'm going to repeat here narendra from uk have just passed my certification nitin from i think from europe cleared the certification another one here sarkar and i can go on and on so i'm not going to i'm going to move quick here i think sachin he was from uh, dubai another one from us this is bronson uh, this is one another one here which is Jaya from US again on certifications. Another one here, Wamsi or L Lalita. I can go on and on. So let's move on the certifications. You should be able to clear these certifications uh, as long as you follow what we are asking you to do inside the program as well. So this is, as I said, these are some of the guys who have done CK and these are some of the guys who have done CK AD. I've just picked out few of them as well. Now, again, CK AD is also again a hands-on driven or hands-on where you to perform these exam questions as well so you'll be able to clear certifications easily as well so that's about certification finally is about cks you should be able to do these certifications as a part of this program now this is just one bit now again if you're feeling overwhelmed uh, ignore that completely now you're not going to learn it on like um, you don't need to learn everything um, even if you do 30 or 40 percent of what we are teaching you should for sure get a job and then you can learn slowly on the job as well your focus should be if it's certification focus on certification if it's a it's job focus on job actual implement is the knowledge and implementation you'll get entire six months which is more than enough for you um or for or with us to implement all these things for you and if you need a little bit longer just let us know about that as well uh, but as i said eight to twelve weeks are good enough for but some guys want to do it quicker some guys want to do longer time you learn you run your own race on whatever time comfortable now once you know this parallel do extensive project work and i'm going to go and tell you these roughly around uh, 13 project we recommend you don't need to do all the 13 you decide what is right for you and what kind of a jobs you're appear, appearing for what they're asking on the job or if you're already on a project what exactly you're doing so you implement those projects you can bring your own project as well and say hey i'm doing this can you do a project something similar we are more than happy we're constantly upgrading this program so we'll give you add you those uh, those project work as well so we're going to create kubernetes implementation but we are going to use both first manually which i've already covered but we are going to then actually use using terraform which is a cloud automation tool not cloud infrastructure automation tool like you can use terraform both on premise as well as cloud so we're going to do both terraform both eks and aks we are going to deploy some applications on eks cluster using php and redis application so you can see how the databases and the front end works end to end we'll also look deploy some kubernetes sorry sql servers on aks cluster 
we have to do whole CI CD, continuous integration and continuous delivery or deployment on Kubernetes using on the Google Cloud using Google Cloud Build. So you've done both AWS, you've done Azure, you've done Google, CI CD and implementations. We'll also use Argo CD, which is a GitOps style continuous delivery to deploy applications on Kubernetes cluster. We're also going to deploy applications on AKS cluster, EKS cluster, but using under CI CD tool like Jenkins. We're also going to use GitHub Actions to configure and deploy your applications on Azure Kubernetes service. You're also, this is important, if you're a developer or an architect, how do you break a monolithic application and build a microservice? We're going to do a whole workshop on just alone this monolithic to microservices on so that you understand. I'm going to go a little bit deeper into this. If you're a DBA or are wondering how these databases run, on, so we're going to deploy Postgres SQL database on Kubernetes, or you can use Azure SQL database or any other database as well. We'll also do a WordPress deployment, which is a dummy project that we have done, but you can build your own application on top of that. And we're also going to use an employee management tool or Java application, and we'll use Istio this time for service mesh, for service to service integration. So you're going to learn all these things on project as well. And this is what you're going to use like someone like Ronald who was who came primary purpose was to do this implementation project work as well. So if you are implementing something on your project where you need help, you have six months support with us. So you'll get as a part of this. So if we keep moving, this is the project I'm going to go fast and I'm going to show you where I mentioned. So this is actual implementation of Terraform with EKS. So Terraform, as I said, is a, for those who don't know very quickly, it's an infrastructure automation tool, infrastructure is a code to deploy and provision your resources, whether it's on-premise or cloud. And we're going to do, there are lots of job opportunities available, which are Kubernetes with Terraform or Kubernetes with DevOps. And that's why these project comes handy as well. So we're going to do it on uh, actual code. We are going to give you a whole, uh, whole guide with the entire code with Visual Studio Code files so that you can implement these things uh, as well. So this is how the code will look like, will explanation of what all these things mean. And if you're not clear with AWS, you'll be able to understand these concepts in AWS as well. We're also going to do the same thing for Azure. And again, a lot of jobs with Azure Kubernetes with uh, Terraform on Azure Kubernetes cluster, AKS that you see and the code like this. We'll also, as I said, this was the app the application which I was talking about, where you have the backend, your Redis cache, which is a master node and a, a, a slave nodes, and then front-ended by another application, which is talking to these databases, Redis cluster that you see. This is a step-by-step -step guide and the video that you get associated with that. SQL server, which I was talking about, where you deploy a on a Azure, you have Azure Disk, uh, which is taking a storage, for, and we are deploying a SQL pod or SQL server as a pod, um, which is nothing but your container application, front-ended and load balanced by an application client request as well. So you could get that. Uh, this is on Google Cloud. We'll use Cloud Build uh, to deploy and Kubernetes cluster we're just talking about. Argo CD, where you're going to use um, developers when they deploy their or store their code into Git, it will, it's going to pick up that code Argo CD and deploy on Kubernetes cluster. It can do in multiple clusters. So that's what you're going to do on. You're actually going to install Argo CD. So if you see the guide, you're going to install Argo CD and deploy application using um, the CLI as well as the dashboard as well. You'll see. This is on uh, Jenkins using where you're going to use Jenkins right from as a developer, de developing the application, storing into a code repository, and then using Jenkins, the code is being picked up created into an image, into any image repository, and then your ops guy building that infrastructure or Kubernetes cluster and then deploying again your this uh, Jenkins is deploying application on Kubernetes cluster. So another project as well on AKS cluster as well. So very extensive step-by-step -step videos and project work. GitHub, I'm not going to move on. Uh, let's move on to these. This is important, which is migrating a monolithic application to microservices. This is where we're going to go deeper. We're going to take an application, first monolithic application, we'll build it on AWS cloud uh, because it gives a resources. It's easy to build on AWS cloud. And then we are going to break this into a monolithic application and deploy microservices and then finally test it. And then we'll clean this whole workshop as well. So with this workshop, you're going to learn a lot of things like how do you use 
EC2, which is nothing virtual machines, container registry or container services, uh, VPC, which is a networking part in an AWS cloud, cloud formation, which is automation like um, your Terra, Terraform and load balancers, Docker, GitHub and Node.js as an application we are going to build. So we're going to do all these applications and breaking down into these microservices. This alone project, if you know, you can speak in a, confidently about in, in implementations in your job jobs as well. So this is what you're going to get. Multi-container applications on AKS, we are going to deploy um, on, we are going to use Azure SQL at the back end and then front end you have a uh, front end applications and the back end applications talking to the database again on AKS cluster. So we'll learn Azure as well. PostgreSQL database uh, as well with persistent volume and persistent volume cluing as I said earlier as well. And this, this is WordPress deployment. Now Istio, uh, as I said, service mesh, if you want to go into that Istio service mesh, you can use this project as well. And this is just one like set of project what we think. But then if you, and again, you don't need to do all of them, maybe do one or two so you can write in your resume as an experience. And then finally, um, if this is this is what you can do, even if someone like Fresher, like Piyush I was talking about earlier, um, can do it, I'm confident you can do it as well. He worked, he used to work with Mercedes, I think if I'm not wrong, last in touch, but I think he's moved on to some other company now. He's worked for a couple of years, just out of college with a little, uh, not only learned containers and Kubernetes, but also working on Azure Cloud as well. Now, this is step one, which is becoming an expert. And hopefully, imagine 40 minutes I have taken just to explain these concepts to you. Now, how deep we go into these. Again, you don't need to overwhelm yourself by learning all this. I've learned it over a period of time, but you get full time to learn and pick what is important for you. But the most important part is that if you're preparing for a job, this is where your journey, actually your focus should be. Once you've done a little bit of um, basically understanding, then you prepare your resume and then write those things as well. So this is important where you give you multiple sample resumes and we also help you in preparation, preparing your resume based on your experience. If you're under two years, two to five, eight years, eight to 12 years, 12 to 16 or 18 years and 18 plus, how do you write your resume? You'll get sample resumes and then also, um, the common mistake I, I see people are making are they just send one resume for all the jobs. And I'm sure you might, some of you guys might not, if not all, might be doing, there are four different jobs and they send just one resume. So we help you in identifying those problems so that you don't do those mistakes. We help you with the resume preparation. We also give you chat GPT prompts. Start using AI in your benefit. So chat GPT uh, on helping with what to add in your resume based on the job descriptions. We also help you with ATS friendly resume, uh, which is application tracking system, because a lot of these things, keywords play a very important role, role in your resume being picked up. So we help you with that as well. Also we re review. Uh, so we have a service which you get as a part of this program where we review your resume, whether it's fit for the job or not. And you'll be surprised to hear a lot of guys, what they do is even if it's a technical project, technical, if it's a technical architect or technical role, they write a lot of project management things where it's not required. It, it puts a negative um, uh, impact on your resume. So we remove a lot of clutter and focus what an employer is asking. So we give you all those reviews and feedback on a weekly basis. We also give you all the interview questions so that and different scenario based based on the job description also. So you get plenty of interview questions as well in order. But then that's just one part or another part. Then third part is about LinkedIn, which is very, very important. And we focus on these 13 point checklist on LinkedIn, but main important is your headline and then experience and skills and endorsements. Uh, how do you write and how do you get endorsement? And then if you really are savvy and if you really advance, we help you on how to write these projects and constantly whatever you're learning, put them as an authority, we teach you about all those things as well. So you're getting it. And this is so that the potential employers, the recruiters, they reach out to you. Or when they get the CV, they first try to see your background on LinkedIn and it complements each other basically. So we help you with this resume preparation as well on. Now we also, with that, we also help you with interviews, mock interviews. This is very, very important. On you have unlimited mock interviews once you're ready you think you're ready and you start applying, you're getting interview calls, come on to a weekly mock interviews where 
uh, with someone from our interview panel, depending on your level, will interview you and you can prepare, start preparing for interviews. So there'll be scenario based interviews, technical interviews, soft skills interviews, feedback. All those things are important, depending on what kind of a role you're applying. If you're applying for more senior, then how do you, uh, how do you, um, what are the implementation issues you might have encountered? Discuss those things based on the job descriptions. You get access to those mock interviews as well and interview preparation. So you do then interview preparation with maybe your counterparts, your colleagues, other guys in the program, as well as with the coaches that you get as well. And we also help you in preparing two questions you can always expect and how to prepare for them. So first question, important question, tell us about yourself. So how do you prepare? How do you answer that? Also, another one is, hey, do you have any questions? Very, very important question so that how to ask question, intelligent question so that you get a constant feedback and employer and you also have a way to um, give a feed or just cover up or not cover up, but cover things that you might have missed on these two questions as well. And this is how uh, this is how we have we have grown exponentially in last probably short period. We have more than 12,000 or we catching up or closing up on 13,000 individuals like you who have got helped in various programs. Like Joby, as I mentioned earlier, struggling from no interviews to getting a highly paid job in Australia moving after moving from US. So that, and if you follow, I'm confident you'll get hired and very, very confident as well. Like he has got six interviews. Um, and we don't stop here. This is just a beginning. We go an extra mile where we help you with six months on job. And this is the most important thing that itself will give a lot of weightage to you. So you get six months on job support on, on the here you get. And this is what people have to say. So I really got like Srinivas, I really, really got all the confidence after attending sessions, which allowed me to take this prestigious project. He's managing a team of, uh, I think around 10 or 11 guys, uh, 30, sorry, 30 members team and a multi-million dollar project for an engineering company. And if you're someone who's managing, you just need someone on your side, you can toss the ideas. And that's what this program includes. So whatever is your desire, whether it's a financial security or maybe buying a house or maybe mortgage payment or maybe school kids or someone like me who all I crave is for a freedom, freedom to do what I want to do. And that has allowed me from last probably seven, eight years, I've not been to any office. I work remotely. I go as and when I, I, I feel like maybe once in a month or once in two months on a meetings, but I take at least at least six holidays in a year minimum six holidays and that's what i crave and i've achieved so i'm confident if you follow this whole thing you can achieve as well and some of you guys are already achieving but take it to the next level as well this is another one tolu two offers another one kether Vip, two more offers Vipro and wish work another one raj Lakshmi, i've already mentioned about after being a gap piyush anup gargi sachin lots and lots of guys are like that so i hope um, uh, I know it's a little bit lengthier, and but watch it again one more time if you want to. But I think you know that what a comprehensive program is, this is. And if you have any questions, leave it under comment section. I'm more than happy to help. My team will be there to help, happy to help. And but I can confidently say, if you follow this path, I'm 100, 100 or 200 percent confident um, that you'll get it result. It has helped me. Um, it has helped hundreds of guys whatever your background is for sure you'll get it so let me know and uh, thanks for watching if you come so far thank you for watching and let me know if you have any further questions on, on this so let me go back onto this program and this is the learning path this is the program that i've mentioned or it, it, it's a workshop which will take you to earning whatever you're earning to earning good good money so this is a complete workshop where we go. Uh, there are tons of questions that might be coming to your mind. So I want you to uh, list down all the questions you have under the comment section and I'll be glad to help and answer. Or wherever you are watching this, there should be some question answer box or some chat where you can ask questions. With that, this is Atul. I know it's a little bit lengthy uh, video, but totally, uh, I hope now you can see how comprehensive and how detailed this program is. Um, with that, this is Atul. Thanks for listening and watching. Take care. Bye-bye.